Hi everybody, Stacy here, Stacy Wells Artistry. Um, tonight I am going to do a um, four cup flip cup with this little canvas here that I have all taped up and I'm just fixing my tape because it makes it where you can't get the sides. I talked about my frustration with that, but the other reason I left it up in the beginning is I'm having a hard time telling on these videos which ones are which and I end up downloading something and it downloads and downloads and then it says, oh, you've already done this file before. So anyway, I know now that this one is the one that starts with the little tape up on that side. So anyway, I'm just silly like that. Uh, I've been doing some stained glass and um, working on it. In our tiny little town, I managed to book a little pop-up shop um, uh, exhibition kind of thing and um, they wanted, um, suggested that I make some more stained glass, particularly, um, some, um, wine-inspired stained glass, and, um, so, I've been working on my stained glass more than I had been, because I've been mostly painting it. All that racket is me getting this to show you. Um, this is one of the pieces that I did, and I'm gonna have to move the camera back so you can see it. But um, that's one of them um, that I've done. And um, I got some other ones in there that I'm still working on, and um, I was working on that tonight, and I just got, uh, I'm doing a butterfly, and I just got to this point where I couldn't figure out what colors to use next and when that happens I decide it's time to do something else so do something else for a little while and um that's what I decided and I think I mentioned that I have quit I've done away with my base coats on some of my pores um like flip cups and swipes um I just um began to wonder if it wasn't wasteful and um you know, um, like I said uh, in one of my other ones, the only adverse effect I've seen is that sometimes the cells go all the way down to the canvas, and when that happens, I just add a little paint um, to cover up those areas, and um, I know I wasn't going to be able to do that good with that other one right there. Anyway, um, I just add a little extra paint on top of that. Um, other than that, I'm, you know, I've been waiting on somebody to tell me why we do that, add all that paint for a base coat. Uh, I know it helps the paint move around more like, um, you know, uh, if if you need it to, and I understand, you know, why we do it for blooms and everything else, but for swipes and flip cups, I just started thinking maybe I could do without that, and it would conserve, you know, quite a bit of paint and everything, so I thought I'd try it, so I'm trying it, and um, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, anyway, I can see that my paint's already down. I put my silicone not only in the cups, but, I mean, not only, you know, in the paint, but I put it at the base of my flip cups before I fill them up. Like, I put it in each cup when I'm mixing my paint. I put the paint in, and then I um, put my glue in, and I stir that up real good together. And then I add the Floetrol. Wait a minute. Okay, let me start over. I put the paint in and the water, um, some water. If I think I'm going to need water, I'll put the water in and the glue together. Stir that up real good. Then put the Floetrol. Stir it up real good. And then add the silicone very last and only stir it just a tad bit because I've been told that that, um, that it breaks it down if you stir it too much. So I don't stir it too much. Um, I, I believe that that's true. Not only have I been told that, but I believe that that's true. So I don't stir silicone more than just a couple of swirls. But um, I don't mix my paints on camera because I think it's kind of boring and I can do that ahead of time. But just in case anybody was wondering, um, I do believe that it makes a lot of sense to stir your paint before you add anything to it. And I think it makes a lot of sense to add your water as early in the process as possible because it makes it easier for it to mix in. And to only add water a little bit at a time, of course. I use a old Windex bottle and just spray it. Um, in there as I go along because um, it's hard to stir it up if you get too much water at a time or it is to me anyway um, anyway I I think um, 
that's what works best for me. I don't know, you know, about, like I said, on, on, when I first started this, I'm not saying that anything that I say is the way you got to do it or the best way or anything like that. I'm just going to tell you what works for me. And that's how I mix mine. I just don't do it on camera because, um, to me, it, it's boring. I don't want to sit there and watch somebody start paint for 20 minutes, so... But in case anybody was wondering, that is how I do mine. And it works well for me. This is a different kind of color combination here. I just, I haven't used these colors together before. And um, I don't know. I just thought I'd try them out. Um, started out being kind of an earth tone kind of thing. And then I, I don't know, changed my mind. Decided I had enough just plain earth tone pieces. Trying to remember to tilt slower. I get in such a hurry. I really like that bright aqua green. That's one of my favorite colors. And it looks really good with the red. Yeah, I never meant for my channel to be any kind of a tutorial channel or, you know, anything like that. But if there are things that I've picked up or things that I've heard people say is most of it. I've heard, you know, from other, I didn't invent anything new, but I have heard some neat things and I've done some research. And I'd like to share that with people if they want to hear it. Because when I first started out, there were some things that um, I would have liked somebody to have told me. Um, you know, um, so I try to share those things just, you know, in case anybody's interested. I think some people just watch these because they just like to watch, you know, they don't necessarily need to learn or want to learn or anything like that. They just like to see what comes out, see what happens. Um, I don't know. Oh, the torch is doing a little better today. I really like that aqua green with the red. That's pretty. And once again, I have put off dealing with the 3x6 monster in my garage. Um, I have that. Uh, I've done a video on it, but I don't think anybody's watched it yet. But anyway, it's um, a 3 foot by 6 foot swipe. And it's on a piece of maple wood. And it is sitting out there. And I've had pneumonia, so I haven't really felt like tackling it. And I thought about doing it today, but it was just too humid outside, and I was afraid of doing that. See, there's a couple of little spots there where the cells went all the way to the canvas. So this is how I'm going to fix it, and we'll see how I do. Um, I'm just going to dab a little bit of extra paint right on there, right around there. And make sure that it kind of mixes in. I don't like having to do that, but um, I don't think it's too big a price to pay when you talk about how much paint I save by not having to do a big, thick base coat. And it, um, I've, I've not been able to notice it. In other words, whenever mine are dry, you know, you can't, I have not been able to tell that there's a spot that I've touched up or whatever because I kind of, Keep an eye on them when they're drying, and if they start to do that, I just dab a little bit on there, and, um, and usually, you know, torch it a little bit to make it a little more fluid for a second, and it'll kind of blend on in, you know. So far, you know, it's an experiment. Everything is in a state of flux in my world. I, I don't get stuck in, you know, I try not to get stuck in habits a lot. I try to stay open to... Um, you know, doing things different ways and questioning why we do things the way we do. And I just got to thinking about the base coat thing and thinking maybe I don't need to do that. So, we'll see. Anyway, let me let y'all look at this up close. 
Um, there's my stained glass piece. You can see it a little better like that. That bottle of wine actually looks pretty good right now. Um, I haven't had a glass of wine in forever, but <sighs> anyway. Okay. The little pop-up shop happens to be a winery, so maybe I'll get my glass of wine there. I really like how this one came out. I think it's actually really pretty. I think I have a couple more new canvases, and then I recycle my old ones if I have pieces that get damaged in transport because I go to the little market here in town every Saturday and uh, to the farmer's market. And even though it's a farmer's market, there's a jewelry girl there and some other people that make other art and crafts and things like that. And um, knives and, you know, I'm the only artist, I, I mean, per se, um, I think. But um, anyway, sometimes my pieces get damaged back and forth. And so I'll use those canvases and remake them. Um, and I got a few other new ones, so I may make a couple more. Maybe another video or two tonight. Because um, I'm really happy with how this one came out. And maybe it'll inspire me with my butterfly in the other room. Anyway, thank you all for being with me. I'm just I'm just rambling now. Um, anyway, it's nice to have everybody here. And um, I'm glad that... Um, some people are actually going to see some of my videos, and I hope everybody likes what they see. And lets me know if you don't like it. Let me know why. If you have any suggestions or you know comments or thoughts or you know musings, I'm totally open to any of that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go for now, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I am new, and um, I can't help that that makes me feel good. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.